consider a disc pack with 16 surfaces, 128 tracks per surface and 250 sectors per track. 512 bytes of data are stored in a bit serial manner in a sector. The capacity of the disk pack and the number of bits required to specify a particular sector in the disk are what? So first of all we have to find the capacity of the disk pack. There are 16 surfaces. Each surface is having 128 track and each track is having 256 sectors and 512 bytes of data which is stored in each sector. This is 2 to the power of 4 into 2 to the power of 7 into 2 to the power of 8 into 2 to the power of 9 bytes. If we add all of this, we get 4 plus 7, 11, 11 plus 8, 19 and 19 plus 9 which is 28. So, 2 to the power of 28 bytes. 2 to the power of 20 we know is a megabyte. So, this is 2 to the power of 8 into 2 to the power of 20 byte. This becomes megabyte and 2 to the power of 8 is 256. So, 256 megabyte. Also, how many bits will be required to specify a particular sector? So, if we have to go to a particular sector, we should first know which surface it is on. So, there are 16 surfaces. For each surface, if we have to put an address to that surface or to access that particular sur surface, 4 bits will be required to access the surface because 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16. So, 4 bits will be required to address a particular surface. 128 tracks per surface that means 7 bits will be required to access a particular track on a surface. So once you know which surface you are on then you will need an additional 7 bits to identify the track. Then there are 256 sectors per track. So once we know the track then 8 bits more will be required to identify the sector. So, if we add this up, this is 7 plus 4 is 11 plus 8, 19 bits will be required to go to a particular sector. So, this is the correct option, 256 megabyte and 19 bits.